three ways to tell the quality of your paramotor instruction. Top three ways to check the quality of your paragliding or paramotoring instruction. Let's see. Number one, did they teach you how to reverse kite with no hands? So weight shift is incredibly important as is an, a solid understanding of how to properly control a glider. Because the biggest number one way to control a glider is not with the brakes. It's actually with weight shift and your body and moving. So it's very, very important that they teach you to reverse kite with no hands and that you get a solid hold on that. Another reason is, is if you don't learn it, you won't just do it wrong. You will literally do it backwards to what's correct. Or you're literally weight shifting the opposite way that you should be. Exactly. You see people take off, they hit the throttle, the unit weight shifts, torques off to one side. If they don't fix it, their body then falls to that side, making them weight shifting backwards and torquing to the same way, and it can become catastrophically uh, it can lead horrible. To a big mess. A horrible, horrible mess. So it's very, very important that you learn how to weight shift properly and learn how to reverse kite with no hands. Dale, what's the second most important thing when determining the quality of your paramotor instruction? So the number two critical factor that we look for before we put people in the sky is the ability to control the altitude of your body using the glider. Like when you're kiting up the trailer or kiting on a fence post. Yeah, and I manage how high my butt is compared to my legs, right? You got it. If you're sinking, boom, you add brakes. If it's dragging you, boom, hands up. And what's what's the value in learning that? Um, it's absolutely critical because that is exactly the same loading control it takes to prevent collapses. So, oh, so when you're launching and landing, understanding how to control the altitude prevents you from taking collapses? Correct. Okay. If you can't do it, you cannot prevent a collapse, period. You don't have that skill. Also, it's everything in the launch and the landing, because as you're running, it's critical that you're managing your altitude of your body using the glider. Because if you raise your body four inches, you could totally unload the glider. Yeah. And so you have to be able to raise your body using the glider and not do it with your legs. Oh, same with like our landings we did uh, last week where we just slid in our feet and we managed the same altitude with our butt as you we got slowed it. down. You nailed it. It also works into the perfect landing because that's what a landing is, is you're coming in and you're maintaining a perfect altitude above the ground that has to be done with the glider. So very, very critical that you can stand there with your feet in front of you and your butt hanging out in the air and you control the up and down of your butt, give or take GPS one inch, West. using the glider. Okay. Um, what's, the, what's the third most important thing when determining the quality of your paramotor instruction? So the last big piece I look for before someone takes their first flight is the run and jump where you run forwards you flare a little bit you fly off the ground three four five feet you glide back down and then you land all without taking a collapse and keeping control of the glider maintaining perfect control of the glider you need to be able to do that at least 10 times in a row without taking even one collapse because that's basically the entire process of launching and landing all thrown in that little run and jump, right? That's all the pieces put together. If you okay. can't run, fly into the air, and then land all without taking a collapse, then you don't have control of your glider. And you're not ready to go flying. Yeah. And, I mean, imagine a paragliding instructor trying to chuck someone off a cliff when they can't even launch without taking a collapse. I, I can't imagine that. That'd be Boom. so stupid. <laughs> That's why you see those videos of people try and launch off a cliff they take a massive collapse and spin back into the cliff and die. And it was all because the instructor did not teach them how to properly control their glider mm. with that run and jump, run and jump, over and over until you have full control. Because there's a lot more to it, because as you accelerate, 
you're pulling on the risers. The more loading on the risers, the glider wants to shoot forwards. So the timing of how fast you accelerate, as well as where your brakes are to keep the glider perfectly loaded, there's so many little pieces with glider control. That is not something you just go out and do, you know, in five minutes. It's a skill that takes hours and hours of practice to develop. And if someone can't run, fly into the air, land, all while maintaining control of the glider, they absolutely should not be trying to launch. Because one little loss of control and you could, you know, chop your hand off in the prop if you don't have a flat top, and or just take a collapse and shred your glider in the prop. Cause a lot of damage. Yep, I can see. Oops. So, that's definitely one, two, three. Reverse kiting, no hands. And then you've got uh, the ability to maintain a perfect altitude using the glider. And then doing the run and jumps. Run, jump, run, jump. Over and over and over, flying into the air. And then bringing the glider back to a stop or having the glider bring your body back to a stop, not the other way around. Very, very critical skills. So either your instructor taught you these skills or they didn't. It's very simple to determine the quality of your instructor. Can you reverse kite with no hands? Yes or no? Can you control perfectly the altitude of your body using the glider? Yes or no? Can you run, fly into the air, glide back down, land, all while maintaining perfect control of the glider 10 times in the row without losing control of the glider? Yes or no? that tells you what kind of a job your instructor did. If you can't do it, well, find an instructor who's gonna train you how to do it before they put you in the air. Let's go flying. <laughs> Let's do it.